Hey everybody, did you know you could go to ColinMullen.com and order get art and art prints? That's why I set up the website, ColinMullen.com. So hey everybody, you're actually joining me in a proper arcade video. And why do I say it's an arcade video? Because we're playing Minecraft. I mean, I'm teaching you about perspective. And so that's what we're going to do right now. Um, so check this out. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you guys the four different types of perspective that exist in art. Now, you can just use pictures from cameras, maybe go out into the street, uh, take a picture of a road or something. But roads tend to do a little bit of a curvy thing. And I'm just going for the really academic, basic version of uh, perspective. There's a lot more detail that needs to go on into learning perspective. But let's get the basics down first. Now, for me, I generally don't draw out the horizon line and the... Uh, uh, vanishing points on stuff that I'm doing unless if I'm starting to have problems where I'm like something looks wrong and this is one of the ways I check is I check to see okay are my vanishing points lining up are the lines working that kind of thing but uh let's start with the fourth and least talk about version and that is atmospheric perspective which I did here by just decreasing my uh my view distance by a few blocks you'll notice uh the further we go out the cooler the the background becomes that island way out there the trees start to lose some of their definition uh we start being able to see like individual leaves like we could if we were real close to them like those guys part of that is just the way the game renders stuff but also part of it is just like irl you would see that too um and then you'll notice that it gets a little bit of a tint of whatever the natural sky color is so if you're in a city maybe it's a little bit more gray if it's overcast, maybe it's a little bit more gray. If it's sundown or sunset, it might be orange or pink or something. But generally speaking, by adding a little bit of a cooler color to stuff that's way in the back, like mountains, buildings, stuff like that, you get this sense of uh, scale. It makes it look like it's farther away. And, and then you obviously want to combine that with all the other kinds of perspectives. So let's talk about the other ones. And we're going to start off with a real simple one-point perspective. And we're just going to stand right about here. And try and look straight on at this building as best as I can. Take a screenshot. Go over to Clip Studio Paint. Uh, honestly, doesn't matter that we're using this. I could have done this with paper, but I just like the capture ability of, uh, you know, doing stuff on the computer instead. So, generally speaking, the horizon line will line up with whatever ocean line you've got. Um, I found that I think it's because I've reduced the number of blocks that I can see out to. And we actually don't see where the true horizon is and that's the problem how do i okay i'm just gonna spin the minecraft world for a second ignore that i know how to do computers there we are okay let's draw a uh a flat line from let's just do it from the building first we can actually find the uh vanish room point so i'm just gonna do like from the edge of the building here this little roof bit here to the edge of it and then just continue along that line off into infinity for a sec bam and it looks like our vanishing point is right about there. And so that means that our horizon line is also going to be right there. And we're going to just draw the horizon line out from that spot. So here we go. Okay, it actually does kind of line up with the ocean line. Cool. I didn't totally screw things up then. So that's our vanishing point. So if we wanted to add something, like let's say we wanted to add a block, I'm going to just draw a box here. I'm just going to draw a box and one point perspective works fine as long as everything is kind of just flat on with the viewer right okay there we go and then so i've made a little box here a little square and i'm going to line it up with where the vanishing point is and i'm going to draw a line from the vanishing point to here bam we're going to do the same thing with this all right uh and then we go like this to draw it to the vanishing point as well and then we draw a line straight down because again the front side is just going to be square on with us it all looks good and that that could be a block it looks like i made it a little wider than it is tall so it's a little weird to see in minecraft but hey maybe you could fake someone out and go hey i added this new block to the game i don't know it um is invisible whatever but uh this is how perspective works uh as far as one point perspective goes well i mentioned that there are going to be two other ones because we already talked about atmospheric we talked about one point let's talk about two point now and we're going to do the same thing again so with two point perspective uh that means that we're gonna have to find the vanishing point so i mean this this slope is happening we draw it out to the horizon line this building goes over there right and if we do the 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 flower bed thing they got there we just draw it along that line as well and if i drew the line straighter it would probably actually line up the way it ought to but we can see that there's a vanishing point starting to appear and it looks like my horizon lines like 
a couple pixels too low. Sorry about that. Uh, but you can see that like this, this one, all these lines on this face of the building and other, you know, stuff that's in the same uh, facing as this are all gonna line up along this one vanishing point, right? But then you've got this side of the building, right? What's going on with it? Well, it has its own separate vanishing point, which we can see by just drawing a line out. Boop, boop. But as you can see, all these points are just kind of lining up with that. So again, if we wanted to draw our fake block so we could prank our friends with the most boring prank that has ever happened ever, we can draw a line out from the vanishing point like so. And then we can uh, just draw that straight up and down because it's gonna be, it's Minecraft. And then we want to draw that point out back to the vanishing point because this side, right, this side of the building is going that away. Uh, it, this thing is going to also disappear into the distance over that away. And then we can just draw another straight up and down line here. But you'll notice that if we actually like measured these, this one's shorter than this one by like not a lot, but a little bit. And that's just because I don't know if you've noticed, but things that are further away appear smaller. And this is a minuscule amount further away from us than this corner, right? This is a little bit further away than here. But also to get the length of it, instead of doing the one point perspective thing, we draw it out like that. And, and actually, there's a little bit of a, you can't see the side of it because we're actually fairly even on with it. But if we were to draw another block right next to it, since we can use the same thing because it's in the same line as that one, uh, we could easily draw this side of the box going like so. And there you are. Look, see, you've got two boxes that are kind of clearish right next to each other. And you could cut off the edge of the box wherever you wanted. But you can see how these actually kind of look like they exist in the, the Minecraft world, more or less. And we could clean up some of these lines and then add some details, whatever. And it'll look super clean. It'll look super nice. Uh, especially in Minecraft where everything's square anyway. But this is, yeah, there you go, you know? Two blocks right next to each other, and they're clear. And man, Hero Brian is real, but he's like a clear block or something. I don't know. Um, but there you go. Like, the, the perspective looks right on this these two blocks here and on this building. If it was all, if you actually did it up nice, it would blend in perfectly well with the rest of the Minecraft world. Things that go... And these boxes will line up into the box and that's where it goes. So if you want to do like a hand reaching towards the camera, you'd want to have like a vanishing point behind like the shoulder or something and the fingers being at the very front. And then the fingers, there's a line from the tip of the finger to the shoulder. And that's like your, your vanishing point, right? Just guessing based on a made up example here. But anyway, uh, so that's two point perspective. So what in the heck is a three point perspective? Well, we're gonna look at this right here. Perfect little like chapel thing. And we go ahead and take a picture of it as well. So we've drawn our horizon line again. Uh, and we're gonna just draw in where the uh, lines would be for this. I had to restart this bit because honestly, these textures are so muddy. I kind of got confused on what layer was what. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's right about where I figured it was. All right, and then we can do the top of this one too, and we can do the bottom of the building too. So this is just like two point perspective. We got that guy there, and then we got another uh, vanishing point somewhere. All right, and then we just do the other one and we go blonk, and there we go. You can start to see where all these lines start to vanish off to, and that makes sense, right? We just go bonk, and then there you are. You can see that. Uh, so where's the third? vanishing point right well the third vanishing point you'll only ever really see when you're not first off one point is when you're flat on with stuff right we got our flat on here uh th this fate your face is right on this you know we're the 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 thing is there uh whereas two point we've got two such edges where we got a big flat area here and another big flat area here and they're both going in opposite directions on where they go and then lastly with three point you guessed it we have another spot that it goes off to we got the one and the two just like it would be a two point perspective thing where it's got two vanishing points but then we've also got this weird one that's somewhere way up in the sky 
And if we draw along the edge of this block here and the edge of this block, there, you can start to see it sort of appear off in the distance somewhere. And it's actually kind of normal and kind of to be expected that we have a vanishing point that is somewhere super duper off the side of the page. This happens. This happens a lot. And you only ever see three point perspective when you're looking down on something like down a staircase or up towards a building like we are here. So if we wanted to add something to the outside of the building, we could. We could just add, I don't know, let's add something like right over here. We're gonna draw, uh, so we're gonna draw a line from the vanishing point, boop, boop. We're gonna draw one from this. And then we're gonna draw it from there to, I don't know, I want it that tall. We go straight down to it. We'll come back to that in a sec. We draw that there. Let's go ahead and have these guys go invisible for me a bit. Oh God, why did I draw that on the same layer? Ah, digital are just problems. Uh, I've drawn everything on the same layer. All right, well, and then if we wanna go up, we can draw that to a vanishing point and it may not necessarily be the same vanishing point as the building, but it probably is not too far off, right? But we have a, a second, or I guess a fourth vanishing point here. And that's kind of a weird thing about uh, vanishing points is sometimes you'll have multiple ones for each individual building, um, at least going up and down. Uh, because these lines, like they're parallel with each other, right? So if we, we show this building again, you'll notice that that is like going to a completely separate spot. And that's fine, that's normal. But this is referred to as three point perspective because of the way it is. So again, we know that the vanishing point is over there. So we can go ahead and let's make it a couple blocks tall. So that way we don't have to see the top of it necessarily. And also because I just want to show off how this works in practicality. And then if we erase some of these lines, we can actually start to get something that looks a little bit more natural, a little bit normal. Um, so this is a good way of practicing if you're tired of drawing I don't know. Um, the thing, the practice they always had me do as a kid was like, um, draw draw like a, a, a road going off into the distance and it's Texas, so it's super flat and you, you can see for miles and it's just like rows and rows of telephone poles. Like the most boring thing ever. Drawing Minecraft is actually a decent enough way of learning how to draw like perspective and I, I assume that you like video games. Anyway, um, bam, we've got a box. A stack of boxes. They almost look long enough to be like um, chests or something. I don't know. Uh, they look like they're a few blocks long. But there you go. I mean, that's one point, two point, and three point. This is all well and good, but why don't we? Uh, why don't we do a little test? Are you are you up for a test to test and see if you understood this? I'm gonna drag you in another thing, and this is gonna be from a real camera, not Minecraft. What kind of perspective do we see here? I'm gonna give you a second to, to think up your answer. Maybe take a screenshot, draw some lines on this as well. Figure out where those vanishing points are, where the horizon line is. We don't see the ocean in this because this is actually a picture of the uh, Texas State Capitol. Uh, this is Congress Street, bunch of cool buildings on it, yada, yada. Um, but, we see a little atmospheric perspective. We've lost some of the detail in the Capitol building itself. It's kind of uh, gone a little bit more saturated, right? So we're seeing that atmospheric perspective. And then we also have one point perspective. Oh, I probably should not name. All right, so let's see where these lines are going off to. Now, like I said, with real cameras, real pictures of stuff, all right, you'll notice that there's a little bit of bowing and I'm drawing it like super extreme. But like the, the camera will try and not fisheye lens, but it does a bit. And this is one reason that drawing from pictures, drawing references uh, from images can sometimes be a little bit weird. And you can actually start to have some like weird art problems as a result. But we have one point perspective because like somewhere around here is our vanishing point. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it together, all right? So I'm gonna draw a line from the top of this building here down goes right about there go across the marquee and bam okay uh let's try this building here holy crap it actually is sort of lining up what is this i think we found our horizon line and at the same time our vanishing point your vanishing point is always going to be on a horizon line um i'm drawing a little crooked there 
but uh, if we kind of make that go invisible a bit, and so if we wanted to add a building in here, uh, we totally could. We could add one over uh, here. And because it's one point perspective, we know it's gonna be squared off to us. So I'm just gonna add a random building here. Uh, let's make it like recede behind the tree or something. I don't know, I'm being too fancy with this. Um, and I'm drawing this on the wrong layer again, aren't I? You know what, I'm not stopping. This is just gonna be built into the background at this point. Uh, we draw a line there and we want the building to end, let's say here. And it's gonna be behind this bank, I guess. So the bank will get in the way. But there you go. Like, it, it looks like it should be there, more or less. I mean, again, it's that weird, clear block that we keep drawing. But that's how perspective works. And, like, with rounded edges and stuff, you'll notice that, like, it doesn't quite work. Like, let's pretend that this is squared off rather than rounded. And then we draw from here down. It's still going to work, you know? But you just sort of have to account for the fact that you've got this slope in it, but you can draw that slope in once you know where that vanishing point is. So like, do you have to do this at the start of every single image that you draw? Figure out your horizon line. Am I doing 1.2 point, 3 point, uh, atmospheric perspective, whatever? No. God, you, you, there's so many videos of me painting on this channel. You can look at any of them and you see that I don't put that you know, the, the lines in. You don't have to, but I find with core basic principles like this and color theory, which I also did a video on, when I'm stumbling over why does my painting look wrong? Why does it look weird? You just go back to fundamentals. All right, is the perspective wrong? is um you know are my colors like not complementing each other and stuff like we can figure that out fairly quickly fairly easily and we can go no okay that's the issue and then we fix it right so anyway i feel like i should move into this village and while we're doing that i'm gonna go ahead and just thank the people on patreon.com slash rev scarecrow uh if you're a patron or uh you are uh interested in becoming one right now i'm doing a sale on original canvases on my website uh, colinmon.com, the thing I talked about at the beginning here. And you can go ahead and join these wonderful people at the $5 tier or more to get your name in the credits and also get 50% off any originals or 40% off if you're not a sub. But I mean, honestly, don't you want to be a sub just so you can get that extra 10% off? Um, so it's Twitch subscribers and patrons get that. So if you're already one, don't worry. I got you. I'm going to build the worst house ever. So anyway, thank you to my mom and dad. I love you. Thank you to Wapfu. Thank you, Tauf Houndor. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Skelecorky. Thank you, Reverend Joe. Thank you, Retrograde. Thank you, Nick Valentine. Can you move, please? Uh, thank you, Mortis. Thank you, Maliciousness. Thank you, Lol. Need more trees. Thank you, Kayla Hollinger. I need to scroll down my list. Too many of you guys now. Thank you for that. Good problems to have. Thank you to Gala. Thank you, Gabriel Bennett. Thank you, Freak Wannabe. Thank you, Egg. Thank you, Dragon. Thank you, Chiptune Glitch. Thank you, Bungle Paws. Thank you, Blake. Thank you, Bep. Thank you, BD648. Thank you, Amber. Thank you, Acrobus. And thank you, Ads! Sorry about that. Gotta keep with tradition. Turns out, reading my uh, Patreon list is not quite long enough to build a Minecraft house. So if you want that extra 10% off on originals, and you want to make it long enough so that way I can build a full Minecraft house, um, go to patreon.com slash revscarecrow and throw me a couple bucks and let me know other art things that you want to learn. And hey, maybe draw some stuff from Minecraft. You've got a build or two, right? You've played a little bit of this game. It's good. It's cheap too. I think it's 60 bucks now. It used to be 20. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.